Hi everyone, it's Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. Really thrilled to be here today at the New Jersey Horicon and Film Festival here at the Showboat Hotel. Amazing to be here with this beautiful horror community. There are over 30 celebrities here. Claudia Wells, Edward Furlong, Fiona Doris, Jeremy London, Heather Lingenkamp, Kurt Angle, Amanda Weiss, Terry Kisser, Danny Cooksey, the Boogeyman, along with over a hundred vendors and dozens of films being screened right here. There's so many people here enjoying the horror community and we get a moment to talk to several of the attendees and special guests. We're excited to be here at this event today to give you the inside scoop of how great it really is. And tons and tons of people here at this great facility. And if you guys want to get the inside scoop, go ahead and check us out on our Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube Yo, page. Check and check us out at www.newsentertainment.com. Janet Miranda with News and Entertainment. Really excited to be here today at the New Jersey Horicon here at the Show Boat in Atlantic City. I'm here with this awesome actor. Jeremy London. Jeremy London. Say that again with that deep voice. Jeremy London. I mean, the voice just says, does something to women. You know that, right? Uh, I, I hope it doesn't make them run away. <laughs> It doesn't. Okay. It makes them get closer. Good, good. <laughs> we'll stick with that. Speaking with uh, speaking about closer, I mean, I've seen all the photographs on the table here um, with some of these awesome projects that you were involved with. Miss Suterette, Suter number one loves you, has always loved you, and will always love you. He's only got one question that he'd like to ask. Will you marry me? Did you ever stay in touch with some of these actors? I hate all of them. I'm kidding. Every single one. All of them. <laughs> no, no, they're all great. You know, we're all kind of like a family. But, it, you know, when you work with people, it's kind of like any job. You just, when you go home, you go home to your own thing. And then, you know, if you happen to run into each other, you do. And uh, it's always good memories, you know. But everybody kind of just goes their way when the, a project is finished. Hoping, I guess, that we'll reunite someday. But you kind of have to sort of put up a bit of a, uh, some armor because uh, it, 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 it's crushing when you end a project and you've spent a lot of time with people. And you get really close. And then you have to leave. Well, why don't you stay in touch? You do. You just, people live all over the world. I live in Mississippi, so I don't live in Los Angeles. I don't live in New York, you know? So people spread out. They go do their, live their lives. I don't know. Sometimes I still can't believe that you were mine. Even for a little while. How many kids do you have? Two. What are the names? Lyric and Wyatt. Wow, I love that. Lyric, that's wild. Thank you. He's that's my 12, amazing. 12-year-old. Wyatt's my five-year-old. Amazing. I love that. So do your kids support what you do? Yes, absolutely. Wyatt's probably going to do the same thing. All right. He's already a little performer for sure. And Lyric's absolutely drop-dead gorgeous. He just doesn't know it and doesn't care. So. Oh, that's the way to be. Absolutely. Humble, right? Absolutely. Speaking of humble, I mean, you're sitting here just chatting along with us. I mean, you've done a lot of stuff, and you're working on some new stuff too, right? I am, yes. yes. Tell me a little bit about the stuff you're working on now. I'm writing and directing a SAG feature called uh, The Unholy Days, and I also just wrote a, a children's book. What's a and children's book? I just wrote a children's book. It's called the, the, There's a Little White Mouse in the President's House. It's actually inspired by the, uh, the mouse falling out of the ceiling in the White House uh, into the reporter's lap last week. Wait, right, go wait, yeah. are you serious? Yeah, a white mouse fell out of the ceiling in the White House into a reporter's lap in a, during a press conference. And I just thought, what a wonderful uh, opportunity to write a, a story about something fun. Oh, my God, I think I would have a heart attack. I wouldn't be able to, st like, stop screaming. Well, that's part of it. <laughs> Sounds like fun. Tell me about writing and directing. Well, I love it. I, uh, I've, I've done, written and directed several movies now, and uh, I, I prefer it, to tell you the truth. Like you prefer it over acting? Yes, I do. And this 
amazing film that you're directing right now. When does that start filming? Uh, April 2020. April 2020. Yes. So please tell us where the world could find you so that they can uh, subscribe to your channels. And I don't have channels. I just, I, Twitter is about the best place to find me, uh, Sir Jeremy London, literally. Well, you could find him on Twitter and you could find us on Twitter and a Facebook and YouTube and Instagram. So go ahead and do it. If you haven't done it already, what are you waiting for? Just do it, okay? I'm Janet Miranda, your host, and I'm here with... Jeremy London. Jeremy London. And this is News and Entertainment. Stay tuned. Hey, if you like that video, go ahead and subscribe below. Go ahead, do it. Come on, I'm waiting for you. Subscribe below so that you can see the breaking news in news and entertainment. Please be sure to check us out at News and Entertainment on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter, on YouTube. And you can check us out at newsandentertainment.com for all the breaking news. And